Today we're going to talk about watermarks, which is a way to protect your images. Uh, you've worked hard to take this image. You've maybe spent money on that camera or your travel or your time and your energy. You've put a lot of work into this. And you don't want anybody to take it from you and call it their own or use it on their website or their social media platform. It's yours and you need to make sure that nobody's going to take it from you. Um, that's something that a lot of professionals have to deal with. People will try and use their photo for their own personal gain or their own monetary gain, and it's not fair or legal um, for them to do that. So let's look at some of the watermarks that are out there. This is from a site called PhotoFire where you can purchase pictures, and on their website they show you kind of a low resolution version, version of the picture, and they make sure that there's these really annoying logos from their company on there. It's a aperture, and it says PhotoFire in several different places. It would be difficult for me to Photoshop this out or crop it out in any way if I wanted to take this picture. Um, I would really, um, you know, kind of have to work for that. And they've, they've done a good job of making sure this photo is going to be protected until they're ready to sell it. Let's see another one, Shutterstock, you may have seen before when doing Google searches. They're really big about putting theirs right in the middle with a big old X over it, which I think is an excellent idea. However, it can sometimes take away from the image. So when considering purchasing an image, this may be a little too much for some of the viewers. Uh, one of our spotlight photographers was Thomas Mengelson a couple of weeks ago. He's one of the animal photographers out there that we've talked about. He always puts his down at the bottom. Thomas D. D. Mangelson, and he puts it just close enough to, you know, some part of the image to where we, we see his name. It, you could go through and crop it out if you wanted to. We could crop it like that, but it would still kind of take away from the image if we did so. More commonly, I see somebody um, with a nice font, uh, maybe their photo logo here in a corner. Um, again, large enough to be obvious that this picture is, um, you know, property of that photographer. I guess you could go and, and crop it out if you really wanted to, but it's it's there to remind people that this photo belongs to that photographer's name. I think this is a great example, uh, especially like family photographers. So think, you know, like babies and engagement pictures and wedding pictures, that sort of thing with portraits. They'll want to take their pictures and share them with their clients um, not too long after the photo has been made so that the client can decide which ones they do want to order and have printed. And they're going to put that out there, you know, through a website or social, social media. But they don't want those clients to just go through and say, oh, I can just crop out this image and uh, just going to print it on my own. They're smart enough to put their um, watermark right there in a place that's just annoying enough to where a person would have a really hard time, you know, like cropping out this watermark. This is Bella Rose Portraits. She has her logo on there and her company name. So it's either that or, or your, your own personal name, but it's just big enough. It's just annoying enough to where somebody out there looking at this picture wouldn't try to automatically steal it without a whole lot of work. Yes, you could go in and erase it, but honestly, it's more trouble than it's worth for most people out there. So we're going to make a watermark. Um, this is a picture of my two very dirty horses that need a bath. Um, you're going to be working with your own picture. You're going to see that there's no photo as, um, attached to this assignment this time because I want you to open up your own picture. I don't care what it is, who it is, what it was taken with, just as long as it's your photograph that you press the button on from something recent. doesn't matter the subject. Once you have your photo open in Photo P, this is just like the you know, typing text on top of a photo um, assignment that we did. Click on the text tool, the capital T, and we're going to move this later, but I'm going to click and drag a box and I'm going to type my name. Now you can type your nickname, full name, business name, name and business name. I don't care what you type. Just put your name on here somewhere and feel free to add other stuff. And if your name isn't big enough or small enough, um, you can highlight it, it and up here at the top, you can change the, the size of your text. We don't want to go too big. I don't want to be kind of like Shutterstock. I don't want to go too small because that's easy to erase or crop out. I'm going to just kind of go with my gut here. I'm going to go about that big and I can always change this later. Then I need to decide where I want it. You know, I don't want to put it up here in the corner 
because someone can, can just come in and crop around what they want, crop out my name and you know it's over. I'm going to put it somewhere that's just annoying enough for someone to be discouraged in stealing a picture. Now, I don't want to maybe put it over their eyes or their face. I would probably put it around here, maybe kind of up around their ears. Just put it in an area. Again, it's going to depend on your subject matter. Where would it be just annoying enough to where somebody would have a very difficult time trying to crop out your watermark? I'm going to leave mine right there. And we're also going to slightly um, lighten this up, make it a little bit opaque. Over here on the layers menu, wherever you type your name, make sure you've got that layer selected once you have it in the place where you want it to be and the size you want it to be. And go a little less on the opacity somewhere in the middle i'm, I'm going to see what 40 something looks like that looks pretty decent you're going to change it to a number that works best for your picture depending on how light or dark it is and i think i can still read it i think it's still obvious that there's a watermark on this picture and just annoying enough again to where I would be discouraging somebody from stealing this photograph. So that is your watermark assignment, your picture, your name, or your name and your business name. Feel free to add a logo for your business if you want to on there. Make sure it's slightly opaque and not full color. Once it's on there, you're going to file export as a JPEG like you always do and turn it into the assignment called um, watermark photo P assignment.